Welcome back to Project Zomboid. So far, Blobby here has been doing pretty well. Today I have decided to make this place a permanent home for Blobby. It's not gonna be pretty, but it is going to be functional. Since we already found a couple of generators, all we need to do now is to find the how to use generator magazine. It's gonna be crucial for our long term survival. Our best chance to find one is in the bookend store in Rosewood, which is not that far away from here. Unfortunately, it's guarded by sprinters, a lot of sprinters. So we're going to use our tried and true method of using two vehicles and a siren with fire. I guess the first thing we need to do is to get the vehicles from fire station. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude, you almost got me. Damn, that was too close for comfort. Oh, Jesus Christ, I think I might have pushed the vehicle too far. Come on, then. The key to fighting sprinters is to just fight them one at a time. You can't just take on a whole group. I think the max you can do is like 3. Especially if you don't have multi-hit on. Got you, you son of a bitch. Alright, it's time to set this up. For some reason, placing campfire materials it's one of the loudest thing you can do in this game. You're going to see a lot of sprinters hear this. See? You see that? That's why I needed to retreat immediately. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Well, since that's been set up, I guess I could start farming guys. I have never actually used compost before. I can't believe how unfazed I am seeing this. Oh damn, the bag's on fire. That could easily spread to my house. If that spreads to the house, uh, there's nothing I could do. The only real thing I can do is just hope that it doesn't spread to my house. Oh, we didn't spread. That's good. I'm pretty sure there was nothing worth finding in the bag anyway. That got me thinking. How valuable can money can be in the apocalypse? I guess everyone will be adopting the bartering system again. Okay, I got the farm set up, but I don't have a lot of seeds to use. I guess I could continue bridging up north. Okay, I think this is the limit of where I can go before I deactivate the siren. 
because if you move too far from a siren, it's gonna deactivate and turn it off. And that's bad. The zombies are gonna start moving and spreading the fire. What else can I do then? I guess I could start looting more houses. Let's see what I can find over here. More food, then that's usual. Oh my god! Jackpot! Well, I guess we don't need to check the bookstore after all. Books... They're pretty advanced. I guess I could still keep them. Seriously, that's huge though. Those magazines are very rare. And there was a good chance that we couldn't find one in the bookstore. That would have left us with another option. The school. That's gonna save us a detour. Well, the only thing I can do left is start reading. There's, I got a bunch of books that I found in the houses anyway. Oh my god, not another helicopter event. Well, that's all the books I had. Now it's just a waiting game until all the zombies get burned again. Jesus, just how low can my FPS go? Zero? One hour later. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it actually went to zero. That's amazing. Two hours later. The more I continue this challenge, the more I realize this is this isn't really a fight between me and the zombies. This is the fight between my computer and Project Zomboid. If only you could hear how fast my fans are whirling right now. The real frustrating thing about this is just I can't just exit the game and load it in. Since zombies that are on fire will stop being on fire once you load in a save. Wow, look at that. Look how fast that zombie color is going up right now. Wow, that's so many corpses. If only this video had as many likes as the corpses on that pile right now. Wouldn't that be nice, right? Three hours later. Well, it took three hours, but it's finally over. I can finally let Blobby here sleep. I guess the next thing I'm gonna do is start loading the bodies and see what I can find. But if you wanna catch up on this series, I have a playlist right here. I hope I see you next time. And I'm gonna hope that the next episode is gonna be out soon.